I'm going to be tearing down this 6 volt um, zinc carbon lantern battery. And though none of the things in here are very harmful, I'm still going to be using a surface which is easily cleanable. And when we cut open the batteries themselves, I'll be using gloves. But first things first, you just got to pop this case apart. And right now, I don't really feel like cutting it out like a knife or something. So I'll just use this wood saw. Well, that should be enough to get it started. And it pops right off from there. Oh, sorry, I was getting out of the camera view. So, set the leads, and out come the batteries. And I'll just cut them right apart. Okay, got the four batteries here, and for this next part, as I stated earlier, none of the chemicals there are really dangerous in these batteries, but I'm still going to wear gloves. These gloves are ridiculously hard to get on. Okay. Got the gloves on now, and we'll start digging into the battery. So, the cover's off. Reading out of the view the camera, sorry. So this outer coating is zinc. Yeah, since this is a zinc carbon battery. And I probably should be using regular pliers, but I did not locate them. Okay, and I'll save this zinc for other projects. And there's a paper cover over that to separate the um, mag manganese dioxide from the uh, zinc on the outside. And the same thing right here, the bottom thing. So yeah, like I said, this is manganese dioxide and it can be used for other chemistry stuff. So I'm gonna save it here in this coffee filter and then later I can, uh, later I will um, rinse it through with some water and stuff to remove the chemicals and stuff from inside it. And right here, finally, in the center of the battery, or since it's just one, it'd be a voltaic cell is carbon electrode all right so the carbon electrode can be used for many different projects, and I don't want those in there. Um, I'm going to use the carbon elect one of these carbon electrodes for a uh, for my chicken stick, and I'll use another two for uh, my spot weld that I'm going to make, and it'll just be the two electrodes like that. So it's time to go and rip apart some more.
And I wanted to point out this white stuff is uh, oxidization as the battery was used. These aren't dead, but they have been used. This battery has been used some. And what I like about how this thing pulling it over there is it kind of scrapes off most of the manganese dioxide off the carbon electrode. But I'm going to clean these up afterwards. So yeah, what I was saying about the spot welder, um, you can, for your, in your little assembly there, you can use these electrodes, you can cut off some of it so it's more of a point. And these, uh, if you use copper electrodes, then they'll, you know, wear down, but these, since the carbon can withstand lots and lots of heat, they will last a lot longer. Okay, so here are the carbon electrodes after I clean them all up. What I did is use the knife and scraped over it like you saw earlier in the video. And then after that, um, well, I did this with water running over it the whole time. And then after that, I wiped it real good and then used some very fine sandpaper and went around it and they cleaned up really nice and I put up the magnesium dioxide um, into a safe place until I'm ready to filter it out and all that so thanks for watching